They are a staple at almost every children's party. New at 6, 10 News reporter Joe Little reveals why Mylar balloons may soon turn Californians into criminals. This is our warehouse in the back. Joe Soprano has been at this for a while. Uh, 38 years. 38 years of. All latex balloons, more latex, all of these helium cylinders. Lots of balloons. More latex all the way down there, and then we have ribbon. But we're talking to Soprano about. Foil balloons. Those foil and mylar balloons are a bedrock for his business, Fun Services in Miramar. It's a plastic balloon that's coated with a metallic material. However, these balloons could be banned. I cringe. I'm afraid for the industry. My concerns foremost are health and safety. California Assemblyman Bill Quirk introduced a bill to ban Mylar balloons. I think that this is a rational response to a big problem. The Bay Area politician says these balloons cause power outages and explosions when they run into power lines. This balloon knocked out power to thousands in City Heights in 2014. Quirk says in San Diego the last year, there were 69 outages due to metallic balloons and 312 in the last five years. I have a hard time believing that figure. I'm a little frustrated. Robert Constantino owns Balloon Guru in Mira Mesa. He says a ban would cut 30% from his business. That's jobs and money. It's going to create a huge impact, a negative impact on my business as well as so many small businesses down here right now the law says mylar balloons need to be weighted down weights all in different colors soprano says that should be good enough they're making too much of a big deal out of it rather than just enforcing the law in miramar joe little 10 news that mylar balloon ban would go into effect at the beginning of 2018 if the bill becomes law